morning everybody we're starting the day off right at Timmy's it's gonna be a good day one second here good morning Super duper. So I'm on my way to Old Blue. I'm gonna hook onto my trailer. It's a 53 foot aluminum tandem step deck. We're gonna go over to Kenora. We're gonna put some freight on it. We're gonna tie the freight down. We're gonna tarp it. We're gonna take it into Minnesota. Hoping to get delivered today yet. Uh, the receiver that I'm going to is open till 10. So I'm thinking if I can get there by like 8, 8.30, I bet they'll unload me today yet. I'll call ahead and see how they're feeling. That'll be great. And we'll figure out what I'm doing tomorrow, and then I can start heading towards wherever. If I gotta go to Minneapolis or up to Thief River Falls, whichever way I can get there tonight, then yeah, right? Sort of get a jump start on tomorrow. Yeah, let's get over to the truck. Let's get it started. Let's pull it out of the shop. And let's get trucking. Yesterday we shared some very exciting news. Uh, I've been wanting to share it with you for a little while, but I wanted to wait until I was at home with Britt because it's it's for both of us. Our plan was to sell next year. That was the official Giesbrecht household plan. But plans change. I told myself, Josh, don't look at houses. Don't look at houses. You're not gonna buy a house till next year. We wanted to make sure we had like this big, big sum for a down payment, right? This big bank account so we could walk in there with confidence and be like, give me this house now. Whop! Like, whop our down payment on the table in check form. <laughs> but uh, the perfect, perfect house happened to be listed in an area that we like a lot. We're staying in Steinbach. It's a four bedroom. Has a nice big fenced yard for the dogs. Has a, a garage. And it's a much quieter, nicer area, a newer area. Nice suburb. So we didn't know if we could make it work this year, but we said, you know what, this house is perfect. This is the one. We have to figure we have to we have to try and see if we can figure something out. And uh it just turns out things things happened. We we happened to be able to swing it this year. And we can't couldn't be any happier. Couldn't be any happier. So our move date is for uh in about a month. So we have some time to pack yet and get our house cleaned up. It's gonna be a lot of work, but this is the last time we're moving. We're moving into our forever home. This is the home where our kids are going to grow up. This is the home where we're going to have every family Christmas. This is the home where our grandkids are going to come and visit us. And that'll be grandma and grandpa's house at that time. Long ways down the road, but this is what I mean. It's going to be our forever home. We never want to buy another house again. So uh, it's not easy to buy houses in Canada right now, I'll tell you that much. Everything worked out and uh, we were able to swing it. A little earlier, a lot earlier than we were planning to move, so very thankful, very thankful. I missed my turn, I gotta go back. 
course I did. I'm very excited about telling you guys this. I think I told you yesterday too, right? Our house sold in a day. Well, it was two days officially, but we listed it on a Thursday, right? And we were gonna do an open house on a Saturday. We didn't even get to the open house. Apparently small, tiny little homes are in high demand. I guess affordable homes are in high demand. Uh, we had it priced to sell and uh, we got everything we wanted for it. We got everything uh, back that we invested into it and a little bit more. So uh, we're very happy with it. Uh, the first two days we had six offers come in, 14 showings. And by end of day, Friday, it was sold. So this was a few weeks ago already. Big news. One more move. Those of you that have been with me since the beginning of Trucker Josh Vlogs, you've seen me move one, two, three. This will be the fourth time you've seen me move. <laughs> I want this to be the last time. And I know I've said that before, but this time, this time, I mean it. I got a kid now, I got a family, and a wife, and I don't, I can't, we can't be like traveling, you know, moving around from house to house to house. I want them to have a solid foundation. this strap over here just to keep this from flapping around too much. Hopefully that edge doesn't poke through on me. I don't like having sharp edges on my tarps, but it is what it is. Just keep an eye on it. That's what 
a head that's strapped is that it doesn't flap or vibrate. Usually if you keep the tarp tight, it won't rip the tarp. The tarp usually only rips if it can flap a little bit because then it's got that sharp point on there and then it flaps and eventually you just <laughs> rips through your tarp, right? That nobody wants. I've already got more patch than tarp. Don't need to keep patching the patches. All right, let's rock and roll. We want to get unloaded today yet, which means we've got to give her. We got to give her. All our paperwork is sent in. Air conditioning is on. It's hot out. Okay. Rock and roll. You buckled in? Lights are on. Off we go. We made it and they're gonna unload us and take a look at this this is what I meant see now the light is working just fine we'll see how long that lasts I'm gonna quickly go get unloaded I checked in with them I can pull right inside take my tarps off inside and we'll be out of here in no time on our way to Shakopee. That's where our next load will be, Minneapolis. We gotta do this quick. I'll talk to you after. I did it. I am delivered. I just gotta send a copy of this paperwork in. I'm gonna start heading towards Shakopee. I'm not sure where I'm gonna park yet. I remember that parking around Shakopee is, eh, it's hard to find sometimes. So uh, I'll do some research here before I leave after I send my paperwork again. We're at Olson's truck stop near Monticello, Minnesota. I don't know if we're gonna find parking in here. I've never seen it so full. I was hoping to park here for tonight about an hour to our destination from here. I can make it there tonight, it's just, I thought there was a better chance of finding parking here than there. Shakopee doesn't really have a lot of truck parking. It looks like <laughs> no one has a lot of truck parking. Yikes. Well, I'm gonna wander through here and see if something's available. This 
this used to be like a guaranteed parking spot. Not anymore, apparently. That's crazy. Crazy. I think I see a spot back there. Now it's not working again. <laughs> Still got to replace that one up there yet. Right, this is where uh, I'm parked for a night. I don't know who's crooked, if me and that guy are crooked, or if all those guys are crooked. It's probably just me and that guy. But there's plenty of room for another truck to come in here, pull right in. And lots of room for this guy to get out. It's the driveway right here. And no one beside him there, so we should be able to just head straight out that way in the morning. Too bad that these guys here. Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to fiddle with it in the shop yet, and I'll unscrew it and take it out and see if I can find the loose wire there on those three. <sighs> That's it for tonight, though. I'm gonna to start tomorrow right here. This is the Hasty 183 Diner or the Olson Truck Stop. It's one of my favorite places to stop. I stop here often. It's the last really used to be guaranteed parking lot, like where you could find parking before Minneapolis. But it seems a lot of you guys have figured that out as well. <laughs> it's a lot more full here than it used to be. Uh, so goes the story everywhere. Everything. More and more trucks coming on the road. And they are building new truck stops. Don't get me wrong. Especially across Canada, across the West. Building tons of new truck stops. It's great. But it's just not keeping up with the amount of new trucks on the road. You know, they'll build a truck stop and add 100 truck parking spots, right? Well, great. You got 100 more spots, right? Well, guess what? In the same amount of time it took them to build that truck stop, 150 new trucks are on the road. <laughs> So I guess I can turn off my Christmas tree truck, blinding everybody around me. I'll see you right here in the morning, everybody. Thanks for thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Remember, you know the drill. Please stay safe out there today in everything that you do, whatever kind of work you do, do it safely. I want you to come back and watch my video again tomorrow. So don't hurt yourself. Come back and watch some more Trucker Josh tomorrow. All right, and when you're on the roads, drive safe. I'll see you there. See you there. See you there tomorrow. And on the roads, maybe. You might see me. I'm kind of sneaky, though. If you if you do see me, make sure you wave or something. Or send me a message that you saw me. I'm tired. I'm going to go back there now. <laughs>